Welcome, Williamsville East, to episode four of The Bonfire. I'm here today with the entirety of Student Council. That was a logistical nightmare. You wouldn't know the loops we had to jump through to get all these guys here, but we're here. Uh, we're going to start off with a quick softball question for everybody. Daniel, why did you choose to run for your position? So I decided that I wanted to contribute more to the school, and I thought basically taking a leadership position in Student Council would be the best way to do it. Right, Philip, Pat. I just want to take the time to thank you for having us all on so we can better reach the student population which we represent. To answer your question, I wanted to run so we could get more, well, to go build on what Dan said, to get more involved, all right? I wanted to have a little more fun, too, to build on that. Yeah, um, I'm just right along with them. I uh, just want to get more involved with our school that I love so much, and uh, yeah, that, that was about it. <laughs> Um, basically, I like dealing with money, and I wanted to like maximize the profits of student council. So, remember, fun. That's what we're going for. <laughs> Focus on fun. All right. So, campaign strategy, Daniel. We're gonna start with you again. Uh, writing your speech. What was the main focus? So, my main focus was to make a speech that um, outlined my like views on like what needed to be done, and so like drawing in people to like understand and to like enjoy the speech. So instead of like having just like one bland long speech like some people have, I try to make my speech like more interactive of sorts and reach out to like more people, especially like underclassmen. I'm curious to hear this answer, Pat. Let's go for your speech writing process. <laughs> <laughs> the strategy of my speech was try to sell the Pat Frank brand, all right? So many people know me as loud, very big into the New York persona, mall walking at 1030, you know, that whole scene. <laughs> So I wanted to funnel that into my speech, but also throw in a little pinch, this is new for me, of seriousness. Wow. So we threw in a little pinch of that, and my accents too, my impersonations of our very own Mr. Hurley. And uh, that's how I, that's how I, um, that's my strategy. So we had some growth in your speech writing process. Yes, but experience. still, most of the, all of my campaign promises I'm going to make sure are get done. We'll get into that a little bit later. We're going to move on right. to Yusuf. Um, so I went to uh, Williamsville k12.org i went to wits and i uh scrolled through a little task bar that said uh like went through your grades and i found my second grade teacher comments and i was like wow i kind of sucked as a person <laughs> <laughs> um but i was like wow this this is kind of funny because i I've, I've, I've grown i was like oh i could show the growth and i was like well, this is really long i can't share all of this and i was like what if i just flub it what if i just say random stuff and and hopefully it'll all work out and, uh, well, no one ran against me, so it all worked out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sticking to a brand here. We got two, two very big personalities here duking it out. Should be interesting. Yeah. We're going to move on to Gemma. Um, basically, mine focused on experience because, like, I was already student council treasurer, and then I'm also FBLA treasurer, and I was book club treasurer, like, last year. So treasurer of everything. So I just continued with that and told my experience. What better high treasurer role than student council? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I want to move on to Yusuf and Gemma a little bit about running unopposed. What's it like to prepare and then get up there and it doesn't really matter what you do up there. How do you stick to your message? How do you make an impact? Well, actually, I thought the competition was pretty fierce. It was, it was pretty intense up there. No, it was, it was sort of just like I feel like how it would have been any other way. Um, I didn't really think about it too much. And, uh, and so when I went up there and I was the only one there, it was just sort of like, oh, Okay, cool. <laughs> a little pressure yeah. off, but, yeah, nothing, yeah. Nothing, but nothing really besides really, that. Nothing really changed. Yeah. Uh, I was pretty relieved, not going to lie. When I was like, no one was running against me, I was like, okay, cool. Got it in the bag. <laughs> that, that, that security maybe helps you perform a little bit better just because you were more sure of yourself because you didn't really have anybody that could. Your worst enemy was yourself in that moment, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, we're going to move on to Daniel being vice president. What uh, unique expertise do you bring? To your position what background well so um, i have leadership positions in like the nerd clubs like <laughs> like science olympiad i'm captain i was captain this year of a team and then like history club i helped like co-refound it i guess and so i'm also very involved i know a lot of people at east i know how to like connect with them i guess so all of you bring different backgrounds and different clubs and hold leadership roles there and you're bringing that together in student council, representing different kind of sectors of the school. Now we're going to move on to Patrick, playing right. the coveted president role. Being a junior, 
and working with seniors on the leadership council of student council, but also with the rest of student council, how are you going to earn that trust and respect from the seniors when you are younger than? Well, I, I don't think my age should not matter. I, I do find myself, you know, my personality, I'm always moving around. I think I'll, through my various venues, will be able to get through with all my people. You know what I'm saying? But the respect, that comes natural. So if they don't have, a, it just comes. It's part of the, the Pat Frank brand. The Pat Frank brand. Garners lots of respect in the community. Well, it has to be earned. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a shoe in I'm not expecting it. I'll get it when it gets, when it comes. Perfect. Uh, are there any specific goals that you have for next year? I'm going to tell you right now. Fun. All right. Let me tell you about my first homecoming experience. All right. You got a minute for a story? Oh, we have all the I'm like 85, so my story is like, hey, you know. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I, went, I went and built a floor, all right? I kicked over the can of paint, all right? I threw a football around, maybe jumped in some kid's pool. You know, it was all fine. Maybe talked to the neighbors about their cars. Got yelled at for a half an hour by Senora Wager. Yeah, people were very upset about that. What do you I mean? Was there. We had fun, Philip. You did have fun. Come on, we had fun. We still got the job done. I may be Arguably, a, yes. But that's that's what I want to focus on. More fun, more involvement. You see, you can't be too tense and serious. All right, you can't be so so bound up. We gotta release. Okay. We're also also we're working on creating an Instagram. Okay. For our account, I think Dan's on that, right? Yeah. Dan's on that. We're working on an Instagram. Let's see if we can get to a thousand followers. Whole school, be ideal. So community outreach is a big one. Are there any other yeah. specific goals? Any specific events that you want to start? <laughs> well, I heard there's been a lot going around by the bistro. Is that true? Right. Yeah. There's the been bistro. Some talk about the bistro. Oh yes. Gemma, yeah, since you that. are. Have experience, you want to take take the lead on that one there? Well, every day Josh gets like a new little message in a different language. It could be like Korean or Japanese, so he doesn't know what it says. But it always says like, let's turn the comments into an Italian bistro. So that's a popular one. I wouldn't mind that. One. Maybe a New York Italian bistro. Maybe. Then we're talking. So the bistro isn't isn't out, out of the realm of possibility. Oh, no, anything's possible. I bet some people would be very excited to hear that. We should talk to the new principal. Oh, yeah, Swatland. He might be looking. Yeah. New ideas right here. No ideas. Bistro. He might be watching. It's coming. <laughs> yeah. He's probably watching right now. Mr. Swatland. <laughs> I've got good rapport with him. Uh, when I wore my green pants, white turtleneck, I told him, I'm Robin Gibb right now. All right. I'm appreciating the Patrick Frank show, but let's move on All to right. student All council right. a little bit more. Uh, what plans do you have for next year's homecoming dance? And we talked about that a little bit more with do homecoming you want, earlier. Okay. You want themes? Is that what you're... I had Whatever one... I have. had... So I've been thinking about this theme. Oh, okay. oh, no. <laughs> They're very nervous. Like I said, relax. Um, luck. All right. Have the theme. You know, different kinds of luck. Fool's luck. Bad excuse. luck. Come on. Why are you laughing? It's an excuse for him to wear his green pants again. <laughs> what do you mean? That's, that has nothing to do with. Oh, I guess. It has nothing to do with luck. I kind of like the luck. All right. Isn't that decided more democratically? Yeah. Yes, that, yes. Yeah. Which yeah. I'm, ex yeah. I'm excited about next week because next week are the all the stu all the other student council elections for the classes. Right. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Let's talk about uh, advice that you have. Uh, has anybody here not held a position in their class before? I, I haven't. Have, I have not. Yeah. I didn't right. None of you have. I've Patrick's helped. the only one. So yeah. let's talk. Let's talk to you a little bit about that. Uh, do you have any advice for? Because I know for 2021, there's a lot of treasurers out there. Yeah, there's there's a few. Uh, sell your brand. That's. I sold my brand for my speech for a president. I sold it for my two treasurer elections. It always works. As long as you sell yourself. So let's talk to the other members about why you ran for student council, but maybe didn't run for a class position. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason that student council kind of excited you more than? Uh, specific class well so like freshman and sophomore years like I wasn't really like I was I guess I was too nervous to go up and like, just say a speech um, in front of our whole class and by the time like the end of sophomore year hit when they were doing elections for junior year um, like it was already all set like other people were pretty much the same from year to year to year and they won, they won every year so I decided that I would run for student council instead instead of um, class I saw that opening there yeah but you use it. Um, well, the plan was for me to run as a freshman for VP. 
and uh, Matt Small, he's he's almost he's just just he has just as much personality as Pat. <laughs> oh Mayer. yeah, my boy Matt. Yeah. And uh, it was just sort of like me and him are very good friends, and he and I was like, hey man, you can have this, and I was like, I'll get I'll get some I'll get something sometime, and uh, the opportunity to run for secretary came up, and I was like, well, this will I have a couple clubs where I'm already have a leadership position, I might as well just go ahead and go for the go for the student council. So that's what it is. Waiting for your opening and then yeah. getting in, and it's never really too late. You can always no, yeah. try for that. Yeah, for sure. Um, class of 2020 already has like a well-established like group. They know what they're doing. <laughs> so I just decided to run for treasurer of student council because that was open. Seeing opportunities get involved and putting in the work, which it seems like you guys yes. are really excited to oh, get can, ready. Yeah. I'm excited. Started. All right. If you don't know how excited I'm, I'm like. I'm like a volcano, all right? It's just oh, I think flowing. we got that. Yeah, I think <laughs> yeah, we get the yeah. excitement. All right. All right, so thank you, everybody, for coming in. Coming oh, yeah. in today. It's been a thank wonderful you. time. Thank you, Philip. All right. Quiet, awkward right. handshakes we'll removed. Oh, no, that's fine. Table. It's part of business. There we go. <laughs> got to start now while you're young, so it's natural <laughs> when, it's, when it starts to count. Thank you, Patrick. I appreciate <laughs> it. All right, all right. so we're going to move on now to our panel, uh, unless you guys have anything else to add. No, Dan, no. you got anything? Gemma? Okay. Joseph? No, no, we just wanna oh, Philip, I got something bang. for you. Oh this oh is a little gosh, piece of we? fun. <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> Let's move on to the panel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you everybody for tuning in to Bonfire Episode 4. We hope you've been enjoying these episodes. We've been having a lot of fun making them. Uh, and thank you for your continued support in our show. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, Philip. Bye. 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 Leo! Why, why isn't the camera turning off? I don't know. It's not turning off. It's, it's, not, it's not working. Oh my god, Leo. What, what do you mean that the camera not you turning off? You had one job. It's a camera. You had one job, Leo. You're, you're the cameraman. You, you should one know how job. to turn it off. Have you tried pushing the button? Yes. Well, there's only one explanation. The episode's not over.